All right, are we reviving Duncan? I think so. Return to base. All right, <laughs> look at the poor girl Lancaster's all shot to heck. What's the matter, Duncan? You don't like him? That's what I thought. Okay, smiles. I want to see smiles. Graham, here's your booties. Hope they fit. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Bomber Crew. We're picking up where we left off after the last episode. And check this out. We have a monument here with all of our crew members. We got Ann Watt. We got Janet Duncan, Angela Smith, Ray Hoddle. I like to call him Roddle. Janet Graham, James Thompson, and Ralph Johnston. And they're all right there, chiseled in stone with a stinking pigeon. Get out of here, pigeon! Anywho, all right, let's jump in and get started and go have a jolly good time with Bomber Crew. So here we are at the uh, the airfield, right? There's the old Lancaster. In fact, let's go check the Lancaster right now. I think we're going to make some customizations to the Lancaster because I use the default uh, title, the game title on it. So how do we change that? I want waste. Yes, waste text. Oh, and we can change the name of the thing too, right? Right now it's called the Corkscrew Club. Yeah, no. Let's call it, whoops, back it up. Let's call it the Punch Crew. The Punch Crew, yeah, like Punchwood Crew, get it? There it is, the Punch Crew, and we can also put that on the side of the, the aircraft itself, right? We'll call it Punch Crew. Sweet! Should we go white text? Holy smokes, that really stands out, doesn't it? <laughs> Make us an easy target. I think we want to stick with the black. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. All right, let's keep that, and the rest of the artwork will just leave as is. Oh, that looks kind of nice. Um, but we'll stick with the flames. Nose art says runner, duck. I know we can change that, but I don't think I can write anything out. Yeah, I don't see any, like, font control or anything over here so how about if we just do let's go with yellow and whoa that's a big brush how about if we just go i'll just handwrite this p c not politically correct but punch crew bam nice <laughs> that's pretty great what's that little yellow thing there though kind of messes it up whatever that's fine all right so i i was playing around with this earlier and it looks like we can install a new equipment rack right here so we have two already installed on the old Lancaster we've got a um, a med kit in the rear in the mid rear we have a fire hydrant in the mid front we don't have anything but we're gonna buy for 1,000 buckarooskies a uh, a new rack and we're gonna put I think that's a parachute or some kind of flotation device or maybe both rolled into one yeah so we can save one crew member <laughs> and I don't know how I'm gonna pick it's gonna be a tough decision if it comes down to that we can put another rack here in in the front but I think I'm gonna hold off and save that money for later all right there's nothing else that we can do right now we don't have the cash nor the intelligence that's what that is right there that symbol and a lot of this stuff is upgraded by spending intelligence we have to get that on missions so that's what we need to do oh PC I love it Anyway, all right, everybody assemble. Let's go. Roll call. Hut to, hut to, hut to. Everybody here and accounted for. Let's get a briefing. Everybody in the briefing room. Hut to, let's go. Take a seat. Settle down. And Wiggins is, Biggins? Biggins is going to give us a mission. So this looks like a search and rescue mission. And it looks like if we complete this mission successfully, we'll get 150 of those uh, recon or intel points, whatever they're called. Plus, we'll get some cash. So one of our brave Spitfire pilots had a run-in over the channel and had to ditch in the drink. Locate the poor fellow and drop survival gear to keep him safe until he's picked up. Yeah, I like that one. I think we should do that. We can't leave him out there swimming around in the drink, can we? Yeah, let's let's do that one. Right here, Mr. Biggins. I mean, I mean uh, Commander Biggins. Let's do it. Begin the mission. Oh, there she is. Isn't she a beaut? Got the new paint on the side. Don't touch it. It's still a little wet. So, all right, we get to take off. But first, here's a tip that I learned. New course plotted. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, a what? Grab some ammo. I want to see something. Picked up ammo. He put it in. And he put in another magazine. See, we've got 900 rounds. 
Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I saw this on the forums. Hold on. I know, Biggins. We're going to get Graham to load up, too. And we're going to put another magazine in the uh, front gunner as well. Any day now, Roddle. Yes, Johnston, I hear you. Hold on. Got ammo returning to station. Good work. So as far as I can tell, they now have three magazines in each of the turrets, right? So that'll cut down on the time we have to um, reload while we're in combat. All right, Johnston, you're clear for takeoff. Let's boogie. Up, up, and away we go. And let's tag that waypoint right there. Our first heading. Toward the seas, I suppose, because that's where a pilot is. Adjusting heading, very nice. And we're off. Perfect takeoff. Punch crew is up. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Uh, raise the gear. We don't want it to get shot off. Yeah, we won't be able to land. Reach low altitude. Yeah, we got to stick to low altitude because the camera apparently doesn't work very well when you're up in uh, high altitudes. And yeah, we're going to have to put Roddle Hoddle down here in the uh, camera zone to drop the, um, to drop the supplies. Oh, we got a new heading? Okay. What's wrong with the old heading? Heading confirmed. PC, the politically correct Lancaster bomber. <laughs> Remember to drop the supplies at low altitude. I think we're at low altitude, sir. We haven't seen that pilot yet, though. We're still looking. It's going to be out here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Enemy fighters. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, hold on. We got to get over here first. Uh, Hoddle, get, get in the drop zone. Open the bay doors. We had this in training, didn't we? Oh, here come the fighters. I'll spot them. You guys shoot them. I'm down to two gunners right now, though. One, two, and three. You guys have extra ammo, by the way, because I thought of everything. Oh, no. Oh, we missed the pilot. Oh, dang it. Let's spin back around. Swing her back around, Johnston. Yes. All right. Supplies. Load up the supplies. I think I got this right. You guys keep those fighters off our tail. Just the two. Oh no, there's more coming in. I can't focus on that. We gotta release. Release! Rottle! We do it. We did it! <laughs> that was excellent. Good aim, Rottle. I hope he gets promoted. And now, alright, you're done. Close those doors. And then get in your gun and start shooting the enemy. There we go. That's a good lad low on ammo. I gave you guys an extra magazine. What's your problem? Oh, hold up. Got another enemy incoming fighter. Man, they're everywhere. Take them down. We're being attacked. Yes, I know. I know to tag them. All right, we got to change our heading here. Can you turn it around, Johnston? Let's head back home. Oh, we dropped supplies. Oh, we still have to. We got to kill them all? Oh, no. Something bad's happening. They're shooting us. Uh, hey, Duncan. Get some ammo for the fighting people. And you too. Smith, go load up some guns. Did you get it? Yeah, give it to Watt. How do I do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, never mind. Never mind. Uh, Watt, climb down, grab some ammo. I guess we have to have the gunner get the ammo. That seems kind of silly. All right, Smith, you get in there, I guess, for now fight back. I'm trying to fight back, but I'm trying to reload the guns. Holy smokes, things breaking apart here. I need a pause button. Smith, you get in there. Graham, get back in your gun. And where's all the dang fighters? Turn it around. All right, I gotta back out because I cannot see these enemy fighters anywhere. Where are they? Here they are. Alright, spot them. Can't you guys spot these on your own? Why do I have to do all the work? There's another one. Apparently, I have to do all the spotting around here. Uh-oh, we have injured crew? More fighters? Injured crew. Who's hurt? Not everybody's fine. Back in your seat. Oh, Duncan. Duncan's hurt. Duncan, go get in bed. And I'll put Smith in there for now. I think we can put anybody in any station. They're just not going to be quite as good as the person that uh, is, is trained for those jobs. <laughs> Ammo belts used. Oh, gosh. What is going on here? 
Duncan, get in the bed, dude! Oh gosh, he's, he's down! Smith, help him out! Uh, what do I do? I think I gotta get a med pack. Someone grab a first aid kit, revive a down crew member. Duncan, I told you to get to bed! Holy cow, we're getting destroyed. I don't. I thought everything was going so smoothly. All heck broke loose. Come on, guys, there's only two enemy fighters. We really need a WASD control here because I don't like the way this works. You have to right click and hold the button down. Uh, Watt, go get some ammo. Seems like he's out. Alright, are we reviving Duncan? I think so. Return to base. All right, <laughs> look at the poor girl, Lancaster's all shot to heck. Grab, you can get some more ammo. Duncan, hop in that bed. And Smith, uh, why don't you take over for Duncan for the time being? Holy cow, that was hectic, and this is only the second mission. Whew. Oh, look, we have a drive-by to take a, a photo. I think that's recon points, so we should do that. On some missions, there will be optional recon opportunities. Use a bombing aiming station. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, slide over to the front. Again, I wish there was a was I wish I could use WASD here to move the camera around the ship for the aircraft, but it doesn't seem to work that way. Do I have to open the doors to take a photo? I don't think so. Uh, here we go. And ready. Three, two, one. Snapshot. Intel photograph taken. Good work. All right, Johnston, we're going to put you on a new heading. Let's head home. Wow. Okay, so this game needs a pause button just so I can stop, look around, and catch my darn breath. Because I didn't even know what the heck's going on here. I thought we could have any old crew member load the guns. What is going on? There's more enemy fighters? I thought we were in the clear. We got a straggler here. Take him down. Take him down, crew. Hoddle, close the doors. Get back in your gun, quick. Come on, let's get home. They keep sending... Seems like they keep sending more fighters after us, so we just gotta get back home. Oh, yeah. Incoming. Incoming. I'll spot them far away. Give these guys plenty of time to think about it. New heading. Don't you know how to get home without me telling you? <laughs> Constantly? <laughs> I mean, now it's nighttime, so visibility is pretty poor. Duncan, what you doing? Get in your seat. I don't think we need any repairs or anything. But I guess while we're doing nothing, might as well reload the guns. How we doing? Oh, there we go. There's the airbase. Let's mark it. Hoddle, refill that gun station, please. Yeah, a WASD here would be super convenient so I can use both hands at the same time do some multitasking. We're low on fuel. Yeah, I don't think we have any extra fuel, so we're just going to have to make it in in time. And let's make sure we lower the landing gear. It's my favorite part. So we saved the pilot, we cleared the area of enemies, and now we're returning to base. That was a highly successful mission. Didn't seem like it, but... Uh, it was. <laughs> but I promise you, it was. And we made it! Good landing, Johnston. We have completed the mission. Mission result. Search and rescue complete. Return to base complete. Recon photos. Success! The punch crew is back. 100% intact. Awesome. Did anybody level up? Does not look like it. I think that's what that little purpley bar is. Oh, oh, here we go. Now they're getting the experience. They, we've got two, two level ups. The pilot and our engineer. Awesome. And we have 375 of these recon points. All right. Dismissed. At ease. You guys have earned a little R&R. &R. Oh, man, I'm sweating. <laughs> New skills, summary, emergency dive, perform an emergency dive to put out engine fires or reach a lower altitude quickly, and boost. Get a boost of speed by using a richer fuel mix. Ooh. 
And we have some new unlocks. Aircraft upgrade, a fuselage, armored fuselage, Mark 1. Engine extinguishers, Mark 1. Oh, new livery. We can go with olive drab. Cool. We got new crew gear, woolen gloves and leather boots, and a basic black flight suit. Okay, debrief is over. Let's go, uh, let's go check out the new gear. Everybody reassemble. We got some new duds. Johnston, step up. Yes, uh, we got a new flight suit since you are the pilot. We're going to give you the basic black. Oh, look at that. So it doesn't look like it has any different stats. It's just, it's just for fashion. But it does cost 10 pounds. So, all right, there you go. Looks good on you. Oh, I think he likes it. You like it? And we get some new, looks like new gloves. Oh, look at those big old mittens on you. So these are lightweight woolen gloves that provide insulation. So I suppose when we fly at high altitudes, maybe the temperatures drop or something. And it will affect our crewmen and women. So we got a plus five from the gloves here in the aircraft and plus one in the water maybe. So if we fall out uh, and we're swimming around, I don't know. Well, let's just buy them because they look awesome. Bam! Looking good. Oh, I saw a little smirk there. I think he likes them. <laughs> this Johnson's a serious fellow though. You don't want to show too much emotion. That's fine. All right. And how about some booties for you on them feet? So it looks like it affects their walking speed by negative 5%, but it doesn't matter because Johnson's a pilot. He never moves. And it's going to give him plus one defense, plus one insulation, plus two boat, plus one water. Okay. Yes. There you go. Enjoy those booties. A little smile there. Saw it. I saw that corner of his mouth turn up just a tiny, tiny bit. All right, Johnston, step back. A. Smith, come forward. What? I didn't catch that. Doesn't matter. Uh, do not speak to unless you're spoken to first or something. Uh, leather gloves. I think we should just give everybody leather gloves if we can afford them. We have $4,000. It's going to give everybody, um, well, the boots too, right? So it's going to give everyone a little insulation and some armor. But the black flight suit is reserved for the pilot, I think, Smith. All right, step back. Thompson, come here. Leather boots. Bam. Gloves. Bam. Duncan, put on your gloves. <laughs> I love these guys. What's the matter, Duncan? You don't like them? That's what I thought. Okay. Smiles. I want to see smiles. Graham, here's your booties. Hope they fit. Now, the thing is, these boots do slow them down somewhat. So I'm wondering if maybe the engineer should not have the boots. Because, I mean, they're, gosh, they're slow enough. You know what? Give those boots back to me, Angela Smith. I'm sorry. We need you fast on your feet. And who else? Well, the gunners need protection, I think. All right. She's the only one that's not going to get the boots, I suppose. Because she's the, she's the engineer. She's going to be moving around the aircraft an awful lot. Yeah. All right. Looks good. Everybody, back to your rest and relaxation now. Nice and cozy with their new boots and new gloves. And let's go to the aircraft. Because we got some new livery. And we have these points over here now. 375 intel points. And I think it's worth looking at some of these systems and maybe upgrading. Oh, look at the olive drab. Oh, I like it. We can see the name better. It's free, too? Oh, listen. If it's free, it's for me. The Royal Air Force is paying for that one. Thank you. And what is this? Radar. Oh, see, so yeah, we can upgrade the radar. But unfortunately, we can't afford it anyway. But it looks like it did unlock. Extinguishers. Ooh. We can put extinguishers on the engines. Yes. For a thousand? I think that's going to be worth it. And maybe that means they'll extinguish fires automatically? I don't know. Well, there's only one way to find out. That's for them to get on fire. Or it means that we're just going to have extinguishers near the engines. And we're still going to have to send someone to put them out. I think that's probably how that works our fuselage we got a new armored fuselage mark one more heavily armored fuselage will help keep your crew safe we'll definitely do that 100 what was this one over here yeah plus 150 armor but it's also heavier okay well it's gonna be worth it because we had duncan duncan went down during that last mission fortunately 
Um, he was saved by Angela Smith. She was able to get the med kit. Oh, do we have to re replace that med kit, I wonder? I don't know. We'll go check it out. Now, it doesn't look like we unlocked any other anything else here. Um, but we can still go through these systems and see if we can buy any upgrades. Maybe we can afford something. Oh, here we go. What's a ventral turret? We can add a new turret? Gun turrets can be upgraded to do greater damage to enemy fighters and to allow for more ammo per belt. Yeah, this is not an upgrade. This is a brand new turret. And my guess is it's going to have to be manned. And I just don't know if we're going to have the manpower to do that. We have a full crew. Who would we stick in there? I mean, I guess we can put the engineer in there until she's needed to do repairs. Yeah, let's think about that. I mean, it's 1750 It's pretty expensive. Uh, why don't we go to the equipment racks? I think that gets... Yeah, I think we get a, a new med kit automatically, so we don't have to do anything there. But we can install a new equipment rack up front for a grand. Or maybe get another med kit or something. Well, let's keep looking around. Oh, we got way more fuselage armor upgrades here. That was just the nose that we did. Holy cow. All right. All right. Maybe we should do the tail as well. That's 500. And I wonder how this affects our weight. Does, does the ship fly slower or something? I don't know. All right. And we'll do, uh, we'll do the mid fuselage as well. I'm going to install the armored fuselage on the wings as well. And we might as well do the front too. And now we're down to 135 buckaroos. But I think that'll be money well spent to make the uh, fuselage stronger. And we have to train too, right? Forget about the training. Everybody assembles. Training day. All right. All here and accounted for, right? Johnson, step forward. Johnson got this skill automatically. It's the emergency dive. I guess we don't have to do anything. Yeah, so that looks like it might be pretty useful if we get an engine fire. We can dive and try to put it out. All right, very nice. Um, A. Smith, step forward. So our engineer here also leveled up to two, and she got boost. Get a boost of speed by using a richer fuel mix. Hmm. So as far as I know, there is no fuel in the game. It's not like you have to refill the fuel tanks after every mission or anything like that. I think this is just an ability that we get to use while we're in flight during the mission. So I'll have to select the engineer, uh, Angela Smith here, and click on her boost. And then she'll do something in the plane. And we'll have a, a bonus for a short while or something. And the same goes for Johnston here. So we can use these skills during the missions only. Right? Is that right, Johnston? He has no idea. All right. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my theory. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna send the punch crew back on R and R. Get out of here, everybody! Scatter. Go get a hot in a cot. Take a shower and uh, relax until the next mission. So come on, file out of there, punch crew. You guys earned this one. All right. So that's the end of this episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, a like on the video is always appreciated, and leave a comment too. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.